All right, there were some um, wounded soldiers in last mission, but um, yeah, yeah, but some of them hopefully will get back soon. The main problem is the that I lost both grenadiers. Not lost, but lost for a while. So that could be an issue. You know, I think... Did this, like, event uh, went away? The event for... Uh, increased uh, price for recruits? Yeah. So, you know what I want to do? I want to hire someone. And I actually want to make one grenadier. Just to train them as a grenadier for now. Because, really, I don't really want that much from grenadiers anyway. I really just want them to be able to chuck two grenades at larger distance, and that's it. So, I really want to have at least someone, in case, like, my main grenadiers beca become Work indisposed, is well as it is right now. So, yeah, that would be a good idea. Now, now, second thing is, we do need supplies. We need a second Mimic Beacon. Commander. We need, like, as many Mimic Beacons as possible. No, 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 no. Okay, go away, go away. Now, what needs to happen, we need to go to Black Market, and we need to get supplies. This needs to happen. And then we can talk about, like, anything else, but this needs to happen first of all. So sell some things. What do you want? Still want Alarium Crystals, want some mutant corpses. Can sell, I guess, couple, maybe. Maybe. Uh, and maybe some Alarium as well, like, two of it. I need, I don't need a lot, but I need some. I don't really need, like, okay, let me get 25 more, just in case I, I'll need to hire someone, so that I just have money for it. I also have three Alarium Core, I really should put it to use, and do something with it. Let's just sell some Sictoid Corpses, maybe, like, can't I, like, say, sell, like, five of them? Or at least, like, four of them, and then a couple troopers, something like that. 61. This is not enough, though, no? Three, three troopers? Yeah, this is good enough. So, uh, yeah, by the way, while I'm there, is there anything worth it to buy? I have alloys, that's fine. Actually, I have supplies. You know what? Let's buy supplies. I do need supplies, so... That would be the best way to do it, really. And let's just go back. So, I, I want to do two things, specifically. First thing is that I want to buy... Yeah? Yeah? What happened? What happened? Why are my menus empty? Alright, let's uh, scan then, first of all. And then, not scan, but like fly to a place where a scan would be happening. Which is this one, I want to finish it. And then I'll try it again. I guess uh, I'll have to reload my save file or something, maybe? Let's see if it fixed itself. Yep, that's still a problem. Let's uh, make a save then, and let's uh, reload it. Commander. Okay, now it gets better. So, um, yeah, first thing, first thing is the mimic beacon, which is uh, manageable, and I really want as many of them as possible. This is a completely broken item, and I really need a lot of them. Second thing is, I would like. To get some Proving Ground project going. Maybe several of them even, but uh, no point in doing all of them at once. So what is the experimental grenade? I never, like, made them, right? Let's try making them, maybe? One of them? Plasma grenade is also fine, I guess. I kind of want all of it. Um, yeah, let's start with the experimental grenade. Sounds good, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. And then I'll also build something else when that's finished. But let's go for scan for now. Rural checkpoints. Well, reduces the supplies. Can't really do much about that. So, yeah. East Asia income increased by 25. 25 is not a lot, but for 7 days, man. An advent convoy burns in the street as a crowd of weary scavengers gathers in the distance. Several dozen migrants and other ci civilians cautiously approached as they realized our alien craft was controlled by humans. We directed the group towards the nearest haven and distributed some supplies to aid them in the journey. Okay, um, 
I do want to actually... What is East Asia, by the way? East Asia is this region. Okay. So the region I already control. Increase the income. Avenger no. New I didn't even press anything. Well, I pressed it, but like... I kept the button uh, pressed. But I do... I did want to go there anyway, so... That works out. Yeah? Elerium is done. Can only further our advances, Commander. Ooh. Having completed our analysis of the substance tentatively referred to as Alarium-115, it is clear that this material is unlike any other naturally occurring element on Earth. Presumably, the aliens extracted their undoubtedly extensive stores of Alarium from another planet, but that is beyond my capacity to surmise. What I do know with certainty is that this element is incredibly reactive when exposed to high-energy particle fields, providing a source of nearly limitless power that defies all known efficiency standards. Unfortunately, I see no means of replicating or synthesizing the substance with the resources available to us on Earth. The materials we recover from the aliens themselves will likely constitute the entirety of our available stockpile. The commander will have to be careful in choosing how to allocate these precious resources. I'll tell him, I'll tell him. Um, powered armor, plasma rifle, and Elarium conduit. What? Oh, so that's just a better power station. Okay. Um, I guess, but like, yes, but it's just a rifle, right? You'll just give me a rifle and you'll just give me like a pistol. I don't need either of those. Uh, okay, let's, what, what, what does this do? Intensifying their own thirst for combat. What? Some kind of boost? Maybe. Let's go for the autopsy. It's just four days and uh, guess... Yeah, let's go for it. This unusual specimen is clearly afflicted by some form of extreme muscular hypertrophy. Although how the species come to exist, came to exist in this state will require a thorough examination. I suspect the research could lead to varying enhancements for our own troops. Perhaps even some means of intensifying their own thirst for combat. This fierce yes. creature, long referred to as a berserker is clearly a genetic relation to the other mutant species we have encountered in the field. For reasons yet unknown, this particular variant is unique in that it is altogether consumed by what can only be described as blind rage, a thirst for combat, unlike any other creature we've encountered. So, I'm still not sure what what is it they actually do, because in first XCOM that was pretty clear, it was pretty clear, uh, in this one, I'm actually not sure. They don't actually do anything. They just run at you. They have a lot of HP, I've but like so far, I assume they do have some uh, abilities, but I just didn't see any of them yet. So uh, we just scan. Yeah, I guess so. Power relay now operational. Good, I guess. I don't really have a lot of money, though, so... So... Are there, like, available engineers or something? No. But, yeah, the problem is, like, yes, we have some power, but we don't really have a lot of... possibilities in terms of building stuff. There is this. I could actually build this Advanced Warfare Center. Yeah. In addition, an engineer can be staffed in the AWC to decrease the time our soldiers need to recover from injuries. That can actually be helpful by itself. So yeah, yeah, let's do it. Um, where? Doesn't really matter, I suppose. So let's get one of the engineers. I don't really need to clear that debris that much. And go for Advanced Warfare Center. Warfare Center construction yes. Help building it. And uh, the point was to keep my supply level above 25 so that I can hire one more guy if absolutely necessary. Okay, and that should be enough for now. Let's continue with the assorted loot. Incoming message for you, Commander. Cancel mission. Now. You have made no, just a monthly report. Okay. The aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. So two uh, scientists, I assume, don't have money for it. Why are they all hidden? 
Oh, I can reveal them. I do need to reveal them. Okay, I don't really care about this one. Look, I'll reveal this one. And I think I don't actually need to reveal another one. Because look, this is very easy. I will have a choice between which one I want to do. And there will be at least two options. If this is the option, I will always choose it. I don't even care what this is. But I cannot prepare to it then. In later months when it happens. It will happen suddenly. Mm, yeah, but 25 intel. I can actually use it. It's a lot of money potentially. Yeah, like... The point is, if I have a choice between two of those and one of them includes major breakthrough, I am always picking this. And if it includes hidden event and midnight raids, then I'm always picking hidden event because this doesn't really do anything. So regardless, like, I don't really even need to know what the third event is. So I guess I just stop at it. It's no, no, not really a lot of point to it. New alien facility construction, three weeks. Next retaliation strike, six weeks. That's uh, one half months. We'll wait. We'll just uh, continue with this scan for now. Some alarium, good. And let's just start clearing the debris from what I assume to be the last room available. I don't really see anything else, so this would be the last room. And it just get me some get me, gets me some supplies, which is fine. Just do this. How long will it take? 10 days. Okay, I can wait. What are the icons, by the way? Resistance comes at capacity. Well, that's not... Uh... I'm aware. Shining completed. And this will be my grenadier if I really need to. But we'll see if it really needs to happen. Acid grenade. The addition of a corrosive chemical additive to our standard frag grenades results in a small explosive that is especially effective at removing enemy armor. Targets will continue to suffer persistent damage as the acid clings to them and continues to eat away at any surface it touches. Uh, this is... Um, it depends on how big the AOE is. If the AOE is like almost the same as for the normal grenade, then it's like not that useful. Um, the problem is, there are not a lot of enemies that really require a concentrated fire in a span of several turns. And this grenade will only be useful in this precise circumstance, so... Yeah, and there are just no enemies like that. I can kill all of them in one turn. Less than that, in fact. Like, I only need a few soldiers, really. Armor or no armor, it doesn't really matter. So it will only really be useful if uh, the range is that big. So that I can cover few enemy soldiers with it at once. Then it could be useful. Or as I said, if uh, there are new enemies that would be... What is this? Oh, okay. I never did that before. Or I could just go for something like that. Or like, yeah, finishing the previous thought. Or if I like encounter some a huge, some huge like sector pot type of enemy, which uh, I will need to focus fire for a long time, then also it could be useful. So anyway, uh, let's actually try to do something like this. Let's try it. So that's a grappling hook. That's a grappling hook. Uh, I can try the EXO suit and see what happens. I have no idea, man. If we combine the power assisted armor prototypes we've been working on with some of the advent plating we've recovered, we could develop a heavy variant of our plated armor. More importantly, we might be able to add a heavy weapon mount directly to the armor, combining significant defensive and defensive capabilities in a single suit. Yeah. We'll get started right yeah. Away, Let's try it. I'll send word when the project is complete. Okay. Not think I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. How comes you can never predict anything? As if the typical muton wasn't a overdrive enough. serum. This hulking beast seems dangerous even in death. I will be more than happy to dispose of it once I file my report. 
This species was quickly tagged by our forces in the field as a berserker, based on its often irrationally aggressive behavior on the battlefield. Upon initial examination, it's difficult to ignore the extreme muscle growth present throughout the specimen, leaving little need for extensive armor or even conventional weaponry for that matter. I suspect the added bulk of the subject to be the di direct result of an intentional protein deficiency engineered by the aliens explicitly to create the hulking mass we see today. Day. As for its behavior, I can only infer that it was intended as well, as the aliens are well within their capability to manipulate the endocrine glands or equivalent for the purposes of hormonal behavior control. Behavioral control. In any case, this is an extremely dangerous and unstable species, best avoided by our troops at anything other than long range. Overdrive Serum. Derived from the adrenal glands of a berserker alien, boosts a soldier's nervous system, resulting in greater mobility and significant damage resistance for multiple turns. Overdrive Serum can only be used in combat once. It will be removed from the soldier's inventory permanently once activated. Um, yeah, I'll have some questions about that, but first let's go for the plasma rifle, I think. Yeah, let's go for this. Ah, I should do psionics. I should do psionics. Let's be real. I should do it. It's like, yeah, it was like there from the very beginning. I want plasma rifles. I want plasma rifles, but I really should do this. Although we've seen them wielding psionic powers before, our recent encounters with the aliens have truly shown us how they are able to deftly manipulate the flow of psionic energy and use it to their advantage. If we were, if we were to master it as well as they have, the potential applications in the field would be limitless. I assumed okay. you'd make that research a priority. Easy. Commander. Just I'll nine days for it. To learn magic. You, so, um, what do we do? Oh, right, right. The the thing, the thing. Uh, where was the thing? The glands, the serum. It's 35 supplies, though, and it's one time only. I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe later. I mean, it's not... 35 supplies is not, like, that much. If I don't really have anything to spend it on. But for now, it's... Eh, I don't know. Doesn't seem that good. So what do, what do I get? Oh, so just random stuff. Upon arriving in the region, we stumble on an illegally operating truck broken down along a rough dirt road. Its operator nowhere to be seen. The truck is loaded with a variety of stolen advent equipment, some of which may be of use to us. Yes, I do want to do that. So what was the... Focus? Focus? What is focus? You, for example. What is focus? Uh, like, for a weapon. How do you like a uh, weapon upgrade like this? No idea what focus is. Well, regardless, though. Doesn't really matter. Um, let's go for the supply drop now. This needs Avenger to happen. And then I might stop by black market just because it's pretty close from this place but i assume there will be mission before that probably so no point in uh setting up a plan exo suit this heavy armor combines reinforced advent plating with a powered exoskeleton offering superior protection and damage resistance coupled with a wrist mounted rocket launcher with further stu study we could unlock additional heavy weapon options for this suit wow Experimental heavy weapon. Although our heavy armor suits are already a formidable protective enhancement for our troops, with some additional reinforcements and a few mounting points, it's possible we could equip even more advanced wrist-mounted weaponry capable of decimating enemy positions. How much do you want? Just give I will test it for sure. Um, but like regardless though, I will probably want to improve it. Yes, that makes sense. Oh, just uh, one... Alerium core, sure, I do have it, so, okay, let's try it. Um, yeah, and continuing. Okay, uh, no, for now, yeah, I know, I know, but for now let's just get to the black market and see what we can get. Is there, like, new... Corpses, Rex, expanded magazines, and something, something. Uh, I definitely can sell those. This is fine. 
Officer corpses, maybe like three of them. I don't really need them, I think. I might need some for research though, and for like building stuff, so. I'll leave this. But this is fine though. 108 is okay. Can we buy something? Yes. Uh, I would like to buy some crystals actually. And more than that, I would like to buy some crystals and maybe supplies? I think supplies is not the best buy at the moment. I think I'll just ignore it for now. Oh, there's superior scope. There is no way I'm not buying superior scope. It's just too good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so about superior scope, is it better than what I have currently for the sniper? Realistically? Oh, they're all available. That's very nice, actually. We'll, ha we'll have a full squad next mission. No, not this. Upgrade. Advanced scope. And then there is a superior scope. Ooh, 15%. That's a lot of percents. Who gets, like, the next one? Kelly, maybe? Advanced scope, I mean. Maybe. And then, like, I guess maybe Chip will just get normal scope. It doesn't usually, like, shoot that much, but maybe it will be something useful sometimes. And I'll actually give him, like, I, I don't have superior stocks, right? Yeah, I don't have them, but I have advanced stock. Mm, maybe hair trigger actually is better. 5% chance to get an extra action after shooting. So, yeah, let's try something like this. Oh, yeah. And um, we'll be going at Resistance HQ, I guess. I could, like, make contact with uh, West Asia, for example. Yeah, you know what? I think I should. Hello, Commander. Mm, I think here's what's gonna happen. I'll take one more engineer from uh, clearing the debris. I'll step him in resistance comms. No, I don't really need additional comm station. I just need to set an engineer there. Okay, and then how much? How much do I get? No. Map, please. I do not get... Wait... What do I get from... Or did I not set Commander, I an engineer? You recruiting new oh, I didn't. Team, but as it stands, we have people still waiting for an assignment. We can have them work like this. On okay, plus two. Plus two is good. And now I can just go for more contacts. This is 40 intel. Why can't I? I don't have intel? Did I spend all of it? Really? Okay, let's, uh, let's go get intel then. I thought I had some left. I guess, like, this uh, panel isn't that reliable in terms of updates. Not all the time, really. 200 is too much. I cannot spend 200 for it at the moment. Let's just scan. Five! Just five! Okay. What do we have? Oh, okay. Well, we need to do this one. This is not a choice, so... Recover item from Advent Facility. Yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, I can check uh, the other things. Just, you know, just to know, like, what it, what happens with them. But, yeah, this is not a choice. We need to do this. So, recover item, 200 supplies, and we do some uh, preventing of the breakthrough on Avatar Project. So, uh, we have a heavy suit. What does it do? What does it do? EXO suit. So I assume it doesn't have like a lot of slots. The EXO armor suit gives our soldiers the power they need to handle heavy weapons with the durability to match. Right, but what does it mean in practice though? Not bad, not bad. Um Mac Cannon. But that's just my normal weapon. And rocket launcher is what I get. And advanced gren grenade launcher is uh, what the grenadier has, by default, I assume. Okay. Oh. 
Yes, so it's only one slot and another slot became beca becomes a rocket launcher. The mobility, I think, stays the same. Rocket launcher requires both actions to fire and can only be used once per mission. The rocket launcher's new form can be wielded by anyone, provided they deploy with heavy armor. Uh, yeah, I mean... I, I guess there is not much point to use it like for... So it needs to be someone who cannot really move. Does Spider lose concealment when uh, she... You know, by the way, I think Spider needs to get a second Mimic Beacon. I, I guess it will be like just Bradford, maybe? Yeah, l like Bradford, I guess. Something like this. And I'll try to set up Bradford uh, so that uh, he wouldn't need to move to use the rocket launcher potentially on the next turn. And then Kelly will use not the hazmat vest but the battle scanner. Something like this. This will be the setup, I think. I also had a grenade, by the way, but... Same damage. Okay, so I don't know if it's like strictly better. Let's try it anyway, and uh, I don't know if it like destroys cover as well as the normal frag grenade, but we'll test it out. This will be the setup. I still do need medkits because I think there is still a dark event in play that gives all of them poison, so... I might still need a second one. Let's go then, let's go. So what are we doing? Recovering a item? An data vault is being held by Advent forces inside one of their facilities in this area. Neutralize all we can gather, the vault is storing data psychological the restraint data. So we're moving in to seize it by force. Eliminate all enemy contacts and secure the area. Take okay. control of those assets at all costs. actually skip this one. No, I can. Okay. Um, pretty close. We've got a bead on the advent data vault near your position. So detonating five. charges. So detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm what? and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. You mean just a timer? That's just a timer. It's not like, yeah, it's not like I, there are some additional mechanics in place, just simply a timer. Don't scare me like that. We're all concealed, right? Yes, okay. Um, I do want to check this position. Let's first of all, let's move in with Bradford actually. Where's Bradford? You are Bradford. Get in there. Got it. Because this is a pretty close position and I do need to move him as close the as possible. Up the design, but these monsters are no better than the ones my father dealt with. What is it? Wait, what? Who is it? What the hell? Okay. Well, regardless though, um, we will need to get them. Hmm. Next turn, maybe? I don't know if I'm happy about just starting the shootout right now. Well, regardless, I would kinda like Spider to check our right flank if possible. There is no, like, good spot for it, unfortunately. Mm, well... Well... Let's prepare, I suppose, but... Yeah, I'm not sure what that enemy type is, so I'm a bit afraid to just... Start the engagement right now. Like, could do bad things to me potentially. Let's try to see them, like, from maybe there. Moving to position. Can you see them from there? Yes, maybe that's good enough. Or maybe I should go even further 
to the right. Maybe like to this tree, actually. Seems good. On my way. And just get closer. Just get closer. Spider, I'm not sure. Maybe just there for now and see what happens. Maybe like try to get to that roof somehow. I really need just more info from her. That's the main idea. Just get a bit closer, but don't overextend. Just stay safe. That's the important part. Overwatch. And then we'll... Oh, three of them. Okay, they don't move away. That's the important part. I think we just start. I don't think I will overwatch. I actually need all of my turns. So let's just start with the sniper. 94 at the Heavy Lancer, or 81 at this guy, and it's minus 25 because defense. But defense is just a passive defense, right? He has no cover, really. So this chance doesn't really get bigger. Well, one of my uh, Grenadiers can actually provide some holo targeting. But the problem is I do kind of want to use my mm, Skulljack on this guy. So I'm not sure even if I want to kill him in one shot. Let's start with the uh, Archon. Okay. Good. What is Archon? What do you mean? Like, I, I, I don't remember anything like that. Is this a normal soldier? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, you will actually need to do some skull mining. I think I'll start right now, because if I discover someone else, I kind of want to know about it right now, and this needs to happen. And I still have a Mimic Beacon. Several of them, in fact. In case, like, it's... Uh-huh. Missed. First time it misses. Deals damage, though, so that's useful. Uh, so first of all, I... Let's see the grenade. I will not I will not launch it, but I'll just... I, will, I just want to see how it works. All right. So it flies in a straight line, and deals for 7 damage, and um, that's it pretty much, okay. Can you get closer to the Archon? This should be safe. Like, I'm exposed already, so I'll need to provide, provide Mimic Beacon, so there's no point like being extra safe. Let's try to do this. Good, good. Mm. Oh, you have a turn if it fails. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, this is kind of a better shot, I suppose. Maybe. Sure, let's do this one. How's he not dead? Really? I really thought it would kill him. Currently not. Hey, I can kill the um, this guy with a sword if necessary. But those two kind of need to die somehow by using something else. I think Spider will need to kill them, unfortunately. I can kill them. It's just the problem is like... I don't really want to uh, de-stealth spider, but it kind of needs to happen. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. You cannot even get there, huh? Oh, that's because I just... I tabbed on the canister. Okay, you can get there. Yeah, let's go. Just kill it. Then again, maybe it's a bit too hasty, because uh, can actually Spider even kill this guy? Yeah, 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 she can, she can. She can move there. And she can definitely kill him. I know, but you can kill him now. And there's some loot. I found something. Okay. Advanced perception is uh, maybe aim. I don't know. We'll see. And then you just 
I think I'll ju I'm just killing him with, with a grenade, really. How good of a chance do you get? Not like 61, really. Yeah, not good enough, so let's just kill him. I still have a rocket left, so it should be fine. And two mimic beacons. So really like, you know, spending a grenade there is not that much of a problem. Okay. Now we still need to move though. We still need to move. You just get a bit closer, you will actually run next turn. So just get a bit closer to the center. I do need to advance on the center, right? Yeah. So, Kelly, you just enter the concealment mode. And by the way, for the future, I think I'm not taking this thing ever. I think it was Shadow Strike? Which one was the thing that didn't allow me to take concealment? Like, voluntary concealment? I'm taking this, like, ever. For the rest of the... My playthroughs, pretty much. It's just too useful. Cannot really ignore it. So, Kelly, just move, move in there. Give us some signal about what is happening. There is an officer. Maybe Skulljack works there, actually. Let's, um... Let's, 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 let's. Let's, let's, I agree. Let's what, though? Can we see them from this position? Nope. Nope, doesn't seem like it. So, who goes there, then? Engineer? I guess. Roger that. So, it's safe? Yes. Okay, good. Now, you just get closer. And you... I don't know, man. I guess you should just get to the roof, but it's not actually safe. Maybe, like, get some position around this place? It's not a good spot, honestly. Roof would be better, but... A bit dangerous. Right, but just a bit, go. though. It should be safe, I think. So my idea would be to go on this tile at the moment. I think it should be relatively safe. And you just... Overwatch, I guess? You just get a bit closer and sure also thing. overwatch. Overwatch. And you get... Uh, I don't know, man. I guess maybe to this spot? I don't really, like, mind not overwatching. I'm not really expecting them to move at the moment, so... Okay, so they... Oh, did I trigger them by moving like that? Wow. Okay, well, that's very unfortunate then. That's good. I think. Maybe it's not actually. <laughs> Was it the officer? What did you expect? What did I expect? No, no, no. I didn't trigger them. They triggered by themselves. God damn it, that was the officer. <laughs> what did you do? Why did you do that? Come on, man. Oh no, that was my turn. Oh, that's very unfortunate then. Okay, uh, then I just... I don't know, just Overwatch, maybe. Is there a point in shooting? I don't. I just don't want him to get closer. Like, Kelly is in danger. How did this spot trigger them, but this didn't? Like, what? Look at that. Like, this was safe, but this wasn't? How? How did that happen? <sighs> this guy is not the problem, you see. That's the, that's the issue. I think I'm just shooting. I, I'm never killing him, though. There is no point. I think it's better to do the... Um, Mm, 8 protocol on Kelly because she might get flanked honestly and uh, I mean we all can get flanked by this guy honestly but at least Kelly is not getting hurt she packs like a lot of our damage at the moment I can't re even really use mimic beacons that's the problem that's fine that's fine that's the buff that's completely okay this guy probably shoots me though that's the issue Bradford grenade. It's very nasty. Not a lot of damage though. Stop panicking! Why are you panicking like every time? Because you're shaking, I suppose, but you know. Rhetorical question, but still. Okay, we just continue. 
Um, you can actually shoot someone. I don't think... Actually, I shouldn't have done that with Kelly because Kelly is still in concealment. I forgot about that, so... Regardless, though, you do shoot him. You will not get a better shot. I should have checked if I can, like, use Skulljack. Well, I can't because he's panicking. But, yeah. Whatever. Should have thought about it any anyway. Just in case. So, ideally, I would like to kill this guy as well. And then we, like... Move in. But what I do not really like is that it would require Kelly to go out of concealment. But apparently that's just how it has to be, though. I don't see any other options. I can, like, go in with uh, with you, for example. Uh, I guess it'll be okay. Who else has Mimic Beacons? So, by the way, another lesson. So that things like that never happen in the future. I just need to have uh, one soldier that has Mimic Beacon... In the end of the turn, every time, they have to, like, finish the turn. Like, I always have to make sure that I have someone with Mimic Beacon. By the way, she cannot use Mimic Beacon at the moment. So, the only one that can use it is Seven, which is currently planning on shooting this guy. Therefore, this shouldn't happen yet. And instead, I guess it would be Bradford who does that. We're near the objective. That's fine. What? Go away! I know! We have positive confirmation of I know! Show me the field! I'm aware! How do you not see him? But didn't I check? Oh, come on. Come on! Okay, uh, then there is no real choice. I have to move in. Like this. And just kill him. I will not have uh, concealment for my next engagement. Which is unfortunate, but... What can I do, though? Promotion earned, though. That's good. Okay. You just stand. That's fine. You reload. You get... You just overwatch. You, I guess, yeah, you should uh, actually medkit yourself. So get a bit closer and then do the medkit on yourself. No, on yourself, please. Well, then... And, uh, you just overwatch. You have enough ammo, really. Okay. Right. So. Uh, we definitely need to get closer. Uh, there are four turns left, so it's not too bad, but we do need to get closer. We can jump through the window. So, I guess we just, for now, we just set up, um, kind of an ambush outside of the building. In case there is anything particularly nasty happening. I do have two Mimic Beacons still, so it shouldn't be really a problem. This is not like 100% safe. I'm a bit, a bit iffy about that tile. Um, I don't know. Like, this could be good, I guess. You can hack something? What? Oh. Like, remotely, you mean? Is this always a thing for specialists? That they can actually do that remotely? That's good. Okay then. Whoa, the soldiers the soldiers hacking stat permanently increased by 20. Oh my god, that's so good. Yes, of course I choose that. Whoa. That's incredible. Um so the the point is I can actually now use him to do something good about like those skull mining skull jacks thing I see that's fine we'll kill them um, that's unexpected that's very random actually <laughs> can they like shoot us do I have like still mimic beacon I do have mimic beacon so random just in the middle of nowhere Okay, let's just employ deploy the mimic beacon then. Just in case, because I I don't know man. I think they can just shoot us immediately. Which is ridiculous. And you just overwatch, and you also overwatch. I guess I should have waited with that for a bit, since uh, there are reinforcements apparently. Just wasn't expecting it really. Advanced mech. I can kill it with a combat protocol, though. It will deal 8 damage by passing armor. So it's not really a problem. 
it's dead. Yeah, it goes into Overwatch automatically. I should remember this. Okay. I wanted to skull jack him actually, but okay. Okay. So one guy went on the roof. That's a completely wrong direction. Oh, that's a hologram. No, that's the right direction then. You are completely correct. What about sniper? You can only see the front, the roof guy. I want to use the rocket actually to just see. Well, it's a bit, yeah, it's it's a bit questionable. <laughs> okay, let's let's not do that. <laughs> I wanted to to test it out, but uh, yeah, maybe not. Um, grenades are also pretty dangerous though. I kind of need to move first, and for this, this mech needs to die. That's the issue. I can get closer with Kelly and just shoot him. You know, I think what I should do, I think... Maybe Bradford? Someone needs to shoot the mech, that's the point, for just plus 15 from Hollow. If this game still works like it did before, let's actually test it. I'm pretty sure it does. I think I already tested it, actually. But one turn movement... Shouldn't trigger any overwatches anyway. It never... it shouldn't trigger anything. But, there is another option. I can just closer... Uh, I can just get closer with Kelly. She doesn't trigger any overwatches ever, regardless, because of her ability. And then, if she gets 100%, then we can just do this. And just... You know. Just take out the overwatch. And that gets... Uh, that makes it much easier. And then, like, why would I even risk it? This is fine. So, I can kill him with a combat protocol. And, uh... The roof guy. I cannot uh, use the skull jack on him, so we can, we're, we can be safely killing him. Really, it's not a problem. There is no way in hell he survives. I have so many people around here. Oh, the mech is still alive. <laughs> I forgot about him. But engineer can kill him if necessary. So let's start with a frag grenade, like this. I think he just dies. I think he just dies from the falling. Maybe not. Let's see. I think it's not enough damage, actually. Even at maximum, it's uh, not enough. It's too damage for falling. Yeah. Too damage from falling, and it's still not enough. So. Probably, but let's see. So, does anyone need rank advancement? Uh, yeah, all of them, all of them. Spider can kill stuff though, spider is not the issue there. Maybe like, maybe chip? If you just get a little bit closer... Just kill the mech. Just to get guaranteed XP really. And then really any of you could kill the last guy. I guess like Bradford? No, he already moved. Okay then. Spyro maybe? Good enough. So I assume there is at least one more pack? By the numbers. Yes, there is one more pack. Okay, let's just wait then. Maybe I should have um, I should have actually repositioned with the sniper, I think. So will they come to me now? Let's overwatch regardless. I think uh, I can actually use the scanning protocol. I don't usually use it, but uh, it is supposed to increase like my everything. My vision range and so on. Oh, so I can see the position for... But th that's just people. That's just people though. Do I see like... Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's, that's helpful. <laughs> I don't think it's uh, related to the scanning protocol, however, but it's helpful, though. Um, let's prepare for it, then. We can actually take the roof, pretty much. Well, maybe we can't. There is a ladder, but this thing was ruined, so unless we go, like, through the left side... But, you know, can't be bothered. We have two Mimic Beacons still, so surely it will be good enough. It's very hard for me to imagine that this would not be enough somehow. 
You just get a bit closer. I don't know if we'll, like... Got it. Start it on the next turn. But something, something. Something will Moving happen. Out. That probably was a bad move, actually. They're still far enough, though, so... It's kind of okay, I guess. I do want to reload with you, but... I assume this building is not safe, but then again, when I look at it, no, it should be pretty safe. It should be safe. In fact, this Living tile position. should be completely safe. There is nothing. I mean, how how can they see me unless there is another puck? But I don't think so. Let's just go there, and this should be fine for now. Okay. Now, can we actually get to the roof? Let's try it. If uh, I trigger them, then I actually use Mimic Beacon, and that would be it. And if not, we just go there then. That's also fine. Both outcomes are fine, really. I don't mind it. On your order. Okay. And Sniper can also get a bit closer. Maybe like to the... To that outhouse where Spider is currently. Um, get somewhere there. Which is fine. And you also like get to... Maybe not to the roof, but somewhere close. And you just get there for now. I can't really get you to the roof right now, but... Uh, should be good enough. And you just over... Uh, you just reload for now. And hello, Viper! Do they get hollowed, by the way, when I they overwatch them? Probably not. Double Viper and the Muton. Okay. I do. I have two Miming Beacons, so whatever. Good. Now, it seems like he does get hollowed, though. Judging by the animation. Um, that's good enough, good enough. Don't worry about it. So, Kale, can you, like, do something? No. No. You know what I can do? I can... I can just get a rocket in all this mess like this. But, like, it will leave no corpses, I assume, and, like, eh, you know, let's do it more cleanly. Yes. I can blow up the canister, but then I assume he will just die, which is also not the preferred outcome. Um, let's just try to get like as Short close day. as I can with the spider, and maybe she can kill the mutant, I guess? Try it, maybe? Okay, let's just blow it up then. Whatever. <sighs> get it together. No. Okay, you know what? I think... Weapons empty, can't engage. Whom can you shoot? Only this Viper. So... Oh yeah, here's what I'm doing. Where is my rocket? Where is my second Mimic Beacon though? No, 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 no. But where is my mi second Mimic Beacon? Wasn't it the spider that had it? Yeah, oh, I already spent it, spent it. Okay. So you cannot actually do the rocket then. Oh, but you have the rocket. That's fine. In that case, what I wanted to do was something like this, actually. Hopefully, it will allow me to kill the Viper, at least. I wanted to get the Muton as well, but it seems like I can't. This is a bit too dangerous. I'm afraid if I'm uh, blowing up the canister, that um, the wall falls off. And then I can just take some very unnecessary damage. It seems unfortunate. I cannot really do much. I can run in with the sword and kill the Muton. But it's not even clear if I can. I can shoot him with a shotgun, though. That's the thing. Actually, you know what? Kelly always does that, I think. Kelly always goes in. And then, depending on the chances, I can adjust. Okay, she always kills him. So that's not a problem. Then, let's do the following. Kelly, you kill the guy. Yep. She didn't need XP, but you know, whatever. Then you, actually, I do want to check how rocket works exactly. So just try to do it. 
No, that was the wrong positioning, actually. That's fine, though. Well, nothing specific, just a blast. Fine. Can you see anyone? Only this Viper. Try to shoot it, then. No reason not to, really. Uh-huh. Then, how many of you do we still have? You are still uh, doing something. You can get a bit closer and just shoot um, the exposed Viper. Like this. 90% should hopefully be enough. Good. And you just get Mimic Beacon. And I assume, like, it's good enough. I assume it's... Uh, You know, I don't think there is one more pack, so I don't really need to uh, save my M or anything, or like my consumables in this case. Why do you have so many turns, Kelly? So many turns. I moved like twice after that. Not even sure at this point what is happening. What? Can it like uh, drag them to itself? Grab. Interesting. Okay. And then they can still move it even if it fails. Hmm. Oh. Okay. I can finish him for sure. But uh, can we, like, do some damage? Damage. Damage can be uh, done from this way. position, I suppose. I would like to give it to Chip if possible. The kill. Okay, that should be good enough. Now, Chip... You can just go in now... Good copy. Moving on target. ...and finish him. What? Yes, please. Is that it? I assume that that would be Status it. Confirmed. Yes, All good. Okay. Down and the area is Still Status some damage though, some damage. Unfortunate, but um, yeah. That was my fuck up with the Mimic Beacon. Um, I'll just leave the soldier with Mimic Beacon. For the very end of the turn. They will always be the one who uh, finishes the turn. and So that such things will never happen. But like... First of all, though, the mistake was that I didn't check the position that I assumed was invisible to the enemy, and it wasn't. But, like, it really didn't make sense. Like, I had a soldier that actually was closer to that, and they were invisible, and I checked it, but, like, that position wasn't. I guess I should just check it more thoroughly, though. Yeah, I guess so. It's just uh, the camera work in this game is a bit inconvenient. You, like, need to move it around a lot, so you tend to, like... Slack on certain things, you know, you tend to like not ch not recheck them because it's just inconvenient to do so And that leads to some unfortunate results sometimes. So is that the last promotion for Kelly? Yay, but first of all you Yeah, as I explained I would like volatile mix. I think um, I think it's better than chain shot at the moment and Kelly Rapid fire fire twice in a row at an enemy each shot suffers a name penalty from of minus 15. There is no cooldown on this ability. Uh, this allows you to basically one-shot any enemy that is exposed currently. Because shotguns are really strong. And in combination with the... Uh, how is this called? No, like... Oh, by the way, I had untouchable. I forgot about this already. Okay, that's good. Wasn't there, like, an ability for plus 3 damage? Or did I just not take it? No, but she did... Oh, it's not an ability. It was a Proving Ground project, right? So, yeah, she has plus 3 damage against uncovered enemies. And then, if you fire twice from, like, the point-blank range, for example, they just die. That's it. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Or, Reaper, a devastating chain melee attack where the first melee attack cannot miss. Each melee kill in Reaper mode grants an extra action, but further melee attacks have reduced damage. So you can just go around with a sword, just hitting everyone, 
I um, I assume there are like more improvements to the sword, but currently swords are very underwhelming compared compared to the shotguns. So it's not a choice there. But I assume there are more things to the swords, but I just didn't get to them. So like, but I cannot really choose it, right? It's not really an option at the moment. This is clearly better. Yeah, I just don't think it's a thing. Yeah, I'm just going rapid fire regardless. Okay. And what about, like, hospital times? 13 aim! 13! That's a lot of aim. Okay. Archon. Well, we'll deal with that later. And this is a very important counter. The dark event for the Avatar project. That actually doesn't lead to immediate game over. So, that's good news. Okay, and that's where I'll finish it. Uh, we'll deal with all of the possible consequences later. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.